they come, it's the Super Bod Squad, fighting the never-ending battle to teach the wonders of the human body. The human body is a wonderful machine. So many parts working together that let you run, jump, eat, sleep, study, play. But just what makes you tick? No, no, not like that. You know, just how do all those systems work together? Well, I'm Dr. Howard, and I'm just fine. I'll show you all about the human body with the help of the Superbod Squad. Heartman, Big Brain, the Lung Brothers, Super Stomach, Liver Lad, and the Kidney Twins. These are all major organs. No, no, no. A body organ is an important part of each system. Stick around and see all about your human body. What do we mean when we say systems? Well, a system is a group of things that work together. Consider your bicycle. The handlebars are the steering system. Without the handlebars, the saddle is the seating system. Without the saddle, the tires are the motion system. Without a tire, what I'm saying is all these systems on a bike work together so you can ride properly. The same is true for your body. They work together so you can live properly. There's the skin. It protects you from getting hurt, fights germs, and keeps you cool and warm. It's actually the largest organ in the human body. There are three layers of your skin. The epidermis, that's the one everyone can see. There's a substance called melanin in the epidermis. It determines the color of your skin. Lots of melanin makes dark skin, and a small amount of melanin makes light skin. Under the epidermis is the dermis, where sweat comes from, little organs called sweat glands. It's also where your nerves and blood vessels are. But those are parts of other systems, which we'll get to in a moment. Then there's the hypodermis, or subcutaneous layer. Whew, what a mouthful. It's mostly fat to insulate your body. It's also where your hair starts, in what are called hair follicles. The next system is the circulatory system. It carries blood all around your body. It's made of veins, arteries, and capillaries, along with the major organ, the heart. Hartman will tell you all about the circulatory system in his segment. Then there's the nervous system, with the brain, spinal cord, and an amazing network of nerves. It acts as the control, command, and communications for your body. Stick around when Big Brain takes you on a tour of the nervous system. The muscular system is what allows you to move. There are more than 600 muscles in your body. Some are controlled by your thoughts, like throwing a baseball. But some muscles work without you having to think about it. Your heart? It's a muscle. But do you tell it to beat? No. It works without being told to. What about breathing? There's a muscle called the diaphragm that moves your lungs so you breathe. But do you think about moving the diaphragm? No, you don't. You just breathe without thinking about it. Did you know that muscles can't push? They can only pull. So, most of the muscles in your body are in pairs. Take your arm, for example. When you want to show someone how strong you are, your biceps pulls your fist and forearm up. But it takes the triceps to pull the arm back. See? Muscles in pairs. Muscles that help you to move are attached by cords of strong tissue called tendons to the skeleton. But more on that bundle of bones in a moment. Did you know it takes 17 muscles in your face to smile? Ah, but it takes 43 muscles to frown. So, why work harder than you have to? Always smile. The respiratory system is what lets you breathe. You have two lungs, a muscle we mentioned before called the diaphragm, and the windpipe. The Lung Brothers will bring you up to speed on just how the respiratory system works in another segment. 
The urinary system is very important as it cleans all the waste from your blood. The kidneys and bladder make up the urinary system, and watch for the kidney twins who will show you what they are all about. The digestive system processes the food you eat, taking fluids and nutrients your body needs to live, while getting rid of the waste. Super Stomach will tell you all about the esophagus, the small and large intestines, and the stomach in another segment. And Liver Lad will show you just how important the liver is, not just for digestion, but many other functions that keep you healthy. Finally, the skeletal system is one of the most important parts of your body. It provides a framework on which all the other systems are attached. An adult has 206 bones in their body, made from a hard mineral called calcium. In the middle of your back is the spine, which is made up of individual discs of bone called vertebrae. They give support to everything above your hips. There are seven cervical vertebrae in your neck, twelve thoracic vertebrae in your upper body, and five lumbar in your lower body. At the very bottom is the sacrum and the coccyx. Another important job for the spine is to protect the spinal cord which is inside it. The rib cage is made up of twelve pairs of bones we call ribs. They surround and protect the major organs of your heart, lungs, liver, and kidneys. Connected to the rib cage are the bones that make up your shoulders and arms. That long bone in your upper arm is called the humerus, but it's not very funny when that bone breaks. The pelvis, which makes up your hips, connects the spine to your legs. The longest bone in your body, the femur, connects the pelvis to your knee, along with the bones in your lower legs and feet. Your hands and feet have many bones, allowing for a lot of movement. The feet, of course, provide support for your entire body while you stand and walk, while the hands and wrists let you grip, twist, and hold things. There's the skull, which holds and protects the all-important brain, as well as the organs that let you hear, see, smell, and taste. The skull has only one movable part, the jawbone, called the mandible. That bone moves so you can talk, eat, and chew. Well, that seems like a lot of stuff, but just take it a little bit at a time. You can watch me as many times as you like to learn all about your body. And be sure to catch the other segments featuring the SuperBot Squad to learn all about the other systems in your body that make you, you. I'm Dr. Howard, and I'm just fine. Learn all about the amazing machine that is your body. And while you're at it, be sure to take care of that body. It's the only one you have. Bye!